Hello all, welcome to part 7 of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert course and certification. In this video, we will look at uh, how in the post exploitation phase, we will kill the AV and disable firewall, clear the event logs and a bunch of other interesting things. This video is part of the SMFE course and certification. For more details on how to enroll, please visit securitytube.net slash SMFE. Our certifications are currently being taken by students from over 30 plus countries around the world. And this video is provided free of charge on Security Tube as part of our vision and mission to provide free yet quality educational material in the world of InfoSec. Okay, so in the last couple of videos, we've already looked at understanding the victim better, privilege escalation, and now we look at deleting logs and killing monitoring software. Now, when you think about monitoring software, well, you have AVs, firewalls, and all of that. And Metasploit has an interesting script called Kill AV, which unfortunately doesn't work um, as well as you would expect it to. And finally, we will look at how to clear all the logs. So let's actually go back. This is our victim machine, right? Running AVG 2012, all a little updated and happy. And this is our attacker machine. I will be using the net API exploit. So let's hit exploit. There you go. We've broken in. Right. Now, one of the first things which I'd like to do is figure out uh, what, if at all, a firewall is running there or not. Right. Now, before I do this, let me go on the victim machine. And let me actually go and check what is actually there in the network connections. So if you notice currently, firewall is enabled for all outgoing network connections. Now let's go back here. Now, what I'm going to do is use the execute command in Metapreter to give myself a command prompt on the remote system. So I do execute command.exe. I'm going to channelize it, which means I want to interact with this in an asynchronous way whenever possible and also this command prompt needs to be hidden from view which is it should not show up or pop up uh, on the desktop right so this says channel one created now if i want to talk to channel one i type in interact one there you go now i have a command prompt on the remote system right which is the 1.100 computer now in order to figure out whether the firewall is running or not uh, i'm going to run a simple command net sh firewall and then you simply have show op mode okay now once you run this this gives you a lot of interesting information uh, currently the operation mode seems to be enabled right now, in order to disable the firewall remotely, we simply run net sh uh, firewall set op mode and mode is equal to disable. Okay. Now, what this is going to do is disable the firewall. And if you heard a little pop up and we go back here, notice it says no firewall turned on, right? And if you notice right here, the two lock icons which are typically there um, on your network connection seem to have disappeared. We can verify this by typing in again net sh firewall show up mode and this would actually say that the current operational mode is disabled. So this is how we can go ahead and disable uh, the firewall remotely after we break in. Let's exit from this command prompt back to the metal predator session. Now, one of the other things you may notice on the victim right now is the AV 
is actually running right let me relocate my here we go so what you would notice is the AV is actually running right so we want to kill the antivirus program how do we do that well metal predator has a fun little script called kill AV so let's run this and it says hey killing AVG something sounds like good news however if we go back here you would notice that AVG still continues to run which means the script isn't working right now if you take a closer look at the script itself so we go into uh, slash pen test exploits framework then you go into scripts matter predator and open up the kill AV script what you would notice is the functionality is pretty rudimentary and all it does is a quick string match against the different AV programs and then just tries to find them in the list of running processes on the victim and just tries to kill it unfortunately this does not seem to be working right now so let's investigate a little bit further into this right? So what we can do is, let's again create a command prompt for ourselves. Interact with it. This time this is created on channel 2 if you notice. Right. Now to look at all the tasks running on the remote system, there is a simple command called task list. Seems to be a little problem. Let me run this again. Interact with channel 3. Looks like the remote system is probably not responding too well. Okay, here we go. Let's actually try and exploit this again. Okay, exploitation seems to be succeeding. Fantastic. Now let me go ahead and run this again. Take an interaction with channel 1. There you go. And let's do a quick task list. Right. So now what you see is a list of all the tasks running on the remote system, which is all the processes. If you search online, what you would notice is most of the AVG processes are actually prefixed with the phrase AVG in them right so now what we're going to do is just try and look at all of those processes uh, which have been spawned from services and in order to do that categorize them by service which spawned them we basically say task list slash SVC right now these are better categorized by the services which started them so if you look at all the AVG processes, which is AVG Watchdog Service, this was started by AVG WD, and there seems to be another called AVG IDS Agent, which was started by AVG ID Agent. So let's try and distill this further down by using the find command. So let's say find slash i, which is the image name, and then AVG. So this would only give us the output for anything which is prefixed with AVG. So these are all the programs which we want to kill currently. So why don't we just go ahead and kill it? So to do that, we'll use this command called task kill. And the easiest way actually seems to be to use a wildcard. So let's say task kill slash f is for force i am is for image name and then we can give it a wild card avg star right so let's run this so it gives you a couple of errors that says hey we cannot do some of these operations and then it says that some of them were actually deleted fantastic 
let's just verify that once again by doing task list organized by service let's grab that into our little find for AVG okay but if you notice all of these seem to have restarted so AVG RSX is back there again so is this one and so are the others which means what is happening is that these services the watchdog services are restarting these programs if they get killed right uh, and that is not a good deal simply because no matter how many times we end up killing them they will just come back so why don't we stop these services right why don't we just stop avg watchdog and AVG IDS agent. So let's use net stop AVG watchdog. Oops. So now it says the requested pause or stop is not valid for this service. It's pretty unusual. Hmm. So let's actually view the different attributes of this service. Now to do that, we use SC, which is the service configuration manager query ex and then actually give it the service name which is avgwd and then i repeat the process query ex for avg ids agent here we go okay now if you look at the state it says running for both of them uh this is something interesting this is a non-stoppable service non-pausable and accept shutdown. This is interesting. Which is once the service starts, you really cannot stop it. Neither can you pause it. And that's what we are hitting here right now. So how do you go ahead and kill this AV which is running by a service which cannot be stopped or paused? So here is what we'll do. Let's go ahead and disable this service so that the next time the computer reboots, this service will not be started, right? So in order to do that, we will say sc uh, config give the service name avgwd which is the watchdog service and say start is equals disabled. Fantastic. sc config the next one which is avg ids agent start is equal to disabled awesome now what I'm going to do is I'll remotely restart the computer so that these services are not going to be started the next time the computer goes ahead and restarts let me exit here and let's hit a quick reboot this will be interesting which also means we would have to break into this once again which is okay because it's a network service now we will see how interesting this can get right what i'd like to caution you however is that different avs may have you know different ways of uh, running their watchdogs so this may be even be particular to antivirus software so again to be frank it's not that i have really benchmarked this with all the avs I'm just using AVG, the latest one, all updated, uh, simply because that is something which is available free of charge. Anyone can use it. And I think a lot of users actually do use it as well. So let's wait momentarily while the reboot happens. This is a long video, so be patient. Ah, it's 1 a.m., but I'm still wide awake. Okay, let me just check what's happening here. There we go. Welcome screen. Let me drag this to the top. Right, just to verify if AVG is running, let's first exploit this remote system. Once again, which is we are breaking in again. And then let me actually do the whole execute command.exe hidden from view and channelized. Let's interact with that channel. 
let me just do a task list based on service and then do a find based on image name for anything prefixed with AVG okay this time do you notice that the watchdog service and all of that is nowhere to be seen and if you really want to know the reason you can actually go back here to the victim machine go to the control panel then the administrative tools click on services and what you would notice is that the AVG service has been disabled you notice that AVG watchdog it says disabled AVG IDS agent again disabled right so we had disabled it and hence right now these services have not started so all I need to do right now is basically do the task kill force it uh, <coughs> excuse me and then based on image name give it the wildcard AVG stuff there you go it says success now if I actually look at uh, to actually find the AVG processes if you notice there are none I can go back here let me go back here if you notice AVG seems to be running but if I just quickly hover my mouse over it it just disappears right the Windows UI takes some amount of time to update so basically what's happened is uh, that we have gone ahead and remotely killed the antivirus and disabled the firewall rebooted the system now no AV is running so which means do whatever you want you can bring in your typical rat trojans rootkits whatever install anything on the system and get away with it right now one of the other things which I wanted to briefly touch on are the event logs so if we again go back on the victim system uh, go to control panel administrative tools and look at event viewer you may actually see a ton of logs here right for application security and all that right now if you want to just quickly eliminate all of these logs there is a very simple command called clear ev which is clear event logs and if you run it without arguments it basically wipes all the logs which are there so now if you go back here and just refresh you would notice that none of the logs exist anymore right so this is how remotely you could even delete all the event logs which may give some clue as to which services crashed and things like that so what did we learn in this video once an attacker breaks in how to disable the firewall clear the event logs and then even to kill antivirus which metasploit by itself may not have succeeded with so, and this is where I would like to really stress do not blindly depend on the tool to work right the tool should be an aid to speed up things to automate things the tool should never replace you and this is a clear example where Metasploit failed you right it was supposed to kill the AV it was not able to do it but with a little bit of tinkering around remotely we were able to do it by ourselves so that's all for this video you can download AVG the latest one and try this out seems to be working at least as of now so uh, this video was part of the SMFE program and certification. Please visit securitytube.net slash SMFE for more details. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.